We can learn, but we won't. Didn't study history. We could try, but we don't. Don't know geography. Duh, 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 duh. Fail away, fail away, fail away. Fail away, fail away, fail away. Americans like to think we're the best when it comes to just about everything, when measured against other nations anyway. While we're certainly the richest, most freedom-loving, and pretty much the bodyguards for the poor and defenseless, we've known for years that we're certainly not the smartest country on earth. Recently, U.S. kids ranked 24th for reading scores, 25th for science scores, and we didn't even rank in the top 25 for math scores. And when you measure IQ, we're all the way down here. We're really smart people, just not the smartest, but we're working on it. Now for this video, we're not measuring how smart people are. No, we wanted to measure the biggest cities in the US to see where the most dummies live. So how do you decide which cities in the US are the dumbest? By measuring the high school graduation rate and the number of people who went to college in each city. So everybody take out your report cards as we take a look at the dumbest places in America. I'm But I don't remember. We begin our dummy tour across America in, unsurprisingly, Las Vegas. Here in Las Vegas, the high school dropout rate is 16%, and the number of residents who went to college is only 23%. Now compare that to America's smartest city, Seattle, where the high school dropout rate is only 5%, and the number of people who went to college is 61%. A real big difference. Of course, Las Vegas is not necessarily trying to look very smart. A lot of the cities taken up by gambling, music, and other entertaining distractions that don't take a bookworm to navigate. Wouldn't it be interesting to measure the number of bars versus libraries in Vegas to try to determine where their priorities are lined up? As you can imagine, there's probably a large number of bars in Las Vegas. $13.99? What the? They can't make it $1,400? Now, let's see how many libraries there are in Las Vegas. 49? That's a 29 to 1 bar to library ratio. Sure, a lot of people who live in Las Vegas don't go to Vegas, but what would they do for entertainment? We tried to see if there's a way to tell what dumb people do for fun. And we're not talking about this stuff. Now, if you look at this chart, the least educated Americans spend most of their time on two things, personal care activities and leisure and sports. So we're gonna assume leisure means nothing, so that makes sense. The census defines personal care activities as stuff like sleeping, oh God, Plus, we have to mention that Las Vegas has the nation's second highest number of men to women ratio behind San Jose, which is filled with computer geeks. So Las Vegas basically has the most dumb men in the US too. And studies have shown that women are slightly smarter than men. Forever dumb. Welcome to Phoenix, the ninth dumbest place in America. Why you ask? Well, it might help that Phoenix has a 19% dropout rate or that only 28% of people in Phoenix went to college. This guy Aiden didn't hold back on his review of the intelligence level of Phoenix. He says the schools are substandard and there's too many people locked up and there aren't any great jobs. Well, if you look at this chart, while Glendale, Tempe, and Scottsdale are all in the nation's top 50 ranked school districts, Phoenix is way down here at 75. And Phoenix is the fifth biggest city in the US. Arizona also has the nation's fifth highest incarceration rates. Wow, look at Louisiana they'd be in some trouble down there. Now, as we know, prisoners are very stupid. These lawbreakers are pretty stupid too, but they probably won't wind up in jail. Same goes for this guy. Somewhere out there, someone's not too bright. Let's move on to our next dumbest place in America, Los Angeles. As you've probably heard, California's full of a bunch of real airheads. And the data backs it up. Education participation in Los Angeles is for the birds. Of all major cities, LA has the nation's third highest dropout rate. LA does make up for it though in terms of college degree holders, which is about average. The nation's third highest dropout rate's alarming, and that's even after the LA Unified School District has improved. But for now, LA Unified's battled bad teachers, uninterested kids, budget shortfalls, and a lack of any real solutions for a long time. Parents in the LA area are constantly yanking their kids out of this district. One other thing that makes people in LA dumb is sitting in traffic. You're right about that, Mappy. 
I think people can get dumber just sitting in their cars for hours every week, at least according to research and all. And nice glasses, by the way. You trying to show me up? Matthew brings up a good point. What types of cars do dumb people drive? Well, there wasn't really a good answer on the web, but the internet speculates that dumb people drive old pickup trucks, Pontiac Sunbirds, and lowered Honda Civics. Here we are, face to face, a couple of stupid fools. Moving on, we come to our seventh dumbest place in America, Hartford. Here, the dropout rate is 31%, and the number of people with college degrees is 21%. The libraries to bars ratio? 16 to 1, meaning there are far more bar stools in town than there are library cards. And while there's lots of places to get your BUD in Hartford, there aren't too many places to get your GED. You might be thinking, isn't Connecticut the wealthiest state? Yes, it is, but most of the rich people don't live in Hartford, that's for sure. And Connecticut as a whole has been struggling with debt and keeping good jobs in the state. Most of the time, college students leave Hartford when they finish school. I would. Hartford was considering filing for bankruptcy too. That's pretty dumb. Where do you dumb people shop? Well, according to research, the more smart you are, the more you shop online. While the dumber you are, the more likely you are to shop at Walmart. Stupid girl, all you had you wasted. All you had you wasted. We're gonna head south for quite a bit now as we come to the city of San Antonio. In fact, of the six cities left, Five are in Texas and California. San Antonio ranks in the top 10 for both least number of college educated residents and the highest number of high school dropouts. Only one in four residents in this Texas city has gone on to college. Now one leading website says part of that reason is generationally poor kids are foregoing college and choosing blue collar jobs. Hey, at least they're working. That's more than you can say about a lot of America. Apparently San Antonio schools have the biggest drug problem in the state of Texas too. So the kids who were going to school here are getting dumb while they're supposed to be getting smart. And holy drunk, San Antonio, there's 91 libraries in the entire city, but more than 900 bars, clubs, and other related venues. That's a sign that there are way more important matters in studying. Once upon a time, I could finish a thought, but now they'll never even start. Nothing I can do. I'm totally not really smart. Howdy, Dallas. That's H-O-W-D-Y. Apparently, many of you can't spell very well. Here in the heart of Texas, a whopping 24% of kids drop out of high school. That's the second highest rate in America. A recent news report talked about Dallasian's propensity to leave high school early, saying that Dallas has actually improved. The dropout rate in Dallas is actually far higher now than the city's 50% graduation rate in the late 90s. Leon Lett's a former Dallas Cowboys player, and he made perhaps the stupidest ever play during a Super Bowl. And Lett, if he had just run all the way, would have had the touchdowns. He's already celebrating, and BB stole it away. Maybe if you live in Dallas, you should consider naming your kids Mary or John, because according to research, those are the names of the kids who are the smartest. Now, we couldn't find a list of names that traditionally dumb people have, but my vote's for Gary and Tina. Or if you're in Texas, people named Cody and Barb are probably names of dumb people there. Now, in terms of just plain stupid names people give their kids, magician Pin Gillette named his daughter Moxie Crime Fighter Gillette, musician Jermaine Jackson named his kid Jer Majesty Jackson, and musician Frank Zappa named his kid Moon Unit. Stupid. You take the dumb, you take the dense, you take them both, and there you have El Paso Life. El Paso Life. We're going to remain in the state of Texas as we hit up another of the Lone Star State's big cities, El Paso. Here, the kids have decided that school isn't cool. El Paso ranks fifth in America for both highest dropout rate and least number of college degree holders. Being so close to the Mexico border and a major border crossing point for immigrants coming into the U.S., you can expect that school necessarily isn't a priority here in El Paso. When you look at El Paso's population, there are 28% more women than men. What the hell? Wow, I guess there's a lot of dumb women in El Paso. You said women were smarter than men earlier, Nick. Shut up, Mappy. Take those glasses off. You're dumb. You know what, Mappy? Where'd you go? I don't like the way you talk back to me. Take the next video off. You're on channel suspension. Sorry, everyone. Stop crying, baby.
Okay, so we're finally gonna leave the state of Texas for good as we come to our next dumbest place in America to live, Santa Ana. Here, the high school graduation rate is an embarrassing 50%. For all the dumb people out there, that means half the kids in Santa Ana don't finish high school. Santa Ana is in Orange County, and it's considered one of the most densely populated cities in the country. An article talking about Santa Ana's bad high school graduation reputation highlights, again, the high Mexican immigration population, noting that it's common in Mexico for kids to enter the workforce during high school, and that two-thirds of Santa Ana students aren't fluent in English, and that in many cases, the teacher is the only fluent English speaker in the room. Santa Ana's district is crowded and mostly poor, and most parents lack the language skills and education to help their kids with homework. They gotta fix that. We didn't go to college. No, we didn't try it because we couldn't buy it. Who has the distinction of being the nation's second stupidest city? That would be Detroit, Michigan. Sure, Detroit gets its fair share of bullying, but it's well-deserved. Detroit has the least number of college-educated residents at 14%. However, the problem here isn't that a lot of the kids in the suburbs aren't trying to go to college. Apparently, almost two thirds of Detroit's metro area kids try college, but half of them drop out before finishing. However, in Detroit proper, only 10% of kids who actually graduate go on to enroll in college. As such, about a third of Detroiters remain in poverty, a problem that only non-stupid people can fix. Famous people from Detroit include journalist James Lipton, pilot Charles Lindbergh, and Sergeant Slaughter. One of these three is dumber than the other two. Now, if you look on Twitter to see what most people are saying about Detroit being stupid, a lot of the talk is just about sports. Mappy, are you still crying? Jeez, get out of here. I was country and country doesn't school. We're back in California for our last stop as we come to the Central Valley city of Fresno, the dumbest place in the country. Here, residents have the nation's second highest dropout rate and the second least number of college degree holders for all major cities. One in four kids doesn't finish high school and only one in five people finished college. When you look at the education level of most residents, you can see why Fresno is in the top 10% for welfare recipients and has a 25% poverty rate. Most of the reason Fresno is so uneducated is the number of farm workers in the area. The California Central Valley is one of the most fertile areas in the world, and there are lots of laborers here from all over Mexico, Central, and South America. And when you look at a smart city like Boston, you'll find there are more than 200 libraries. Boston and Fresno are similar sizes, but there's only 38 libraries in Fresno. Now, I'm not saying that a lack of libraries is a sign that people are stupid. We get it. Lots of people don't go to libraries, and you can learn anything you want on the web. That's if you have the web. There's a large percentage of Fresno that doesn't have a computer or the internet and must rely on a library in which to learn. And that would be really tough in Fresno. Of course, there's far better ways to spend your time than sitting in an overpriced college. We get it. There's a lot of case studies of people who drop out of school and go on to great successful lives. But at least finishing high school is a sign that city's residents are preparing themselves for a successful career. It'll be interesting to see how these trends over time impact the American population. As more and more of our lives move online and different skills are required, will education be as important as it once was? Can Americans thrive in narrow niches in which they're experts? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And before we go, if you're curious enough, here are the least stupid places in America, or the smartest, if you will. Hope this wasn't too hard for you to comprehend. And if you live in one of the cities we talked about earlier, you might have to re-watch this video and have somebody explain it to you dummy the end hey guys if you learned something new or you just like this video make sure to like it and if you really like this video make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get all of our videos about what it's like to live in different places in america peace